May you be a knight of the marshlands, good sir? Yes. Excellent. I've been expecting your passing. May I have a moment of your time? That is, what remains of it. You may. Though I do not delight in the tone of your voice. It is not delight, but grave news that I bring. I am death. Tasked with bringing you to the void and beyond. What? No! I... I cannot go with you. I... I have not led a life of true honor. With fire and steel, I have committed great evils on behalf of corrupted hearts. I fear what awaits me beyond the veil. As do most whose time has come. But that time has come nonetheless. There must be another way. I've heard tales. Yes, of men who defy their fate. Tales and nothing more, I assure you. No, I'm certain of it. A man lauded as a hero of these lands has cheated death. Cheated you. Enough. Yes, a supposed great warrior has been a great thorn in my side for years. His life should have ended a long time ago. Then let me be the one to end it. Let me bring him to the void on your behalf. Let me also seek retribution against those who led me astray. Yes. Bringing him to me would eliminate a great deal of paperwork going forward. As you wish, you may commit yourself to those acts, if it brings you purpose. Though it will only delay the inevitable. Thank you. It shall be done. What is a lowly knight doing in my halls so close to my evening feast? I have served as part of your army since my youth. For years I have done unspeakable evil in the name of this kingdom. And for what? I wonder, should I have swine or mutton? Are you still here? Scurry along, sir knight, or I will have you parted from your title and tossed to the streets. Not before I have your head parted from its body. Oh, you poor thing. You assume you've got a chance. You don't. Salutations, Sir Knight and Child of the Marsh. What brings one such as you? What brings me is the desire for justice. A come again? Retribution, Bishop. I intend to deliver it. Deliver it to whom? To a false prophet that lingers in these halls, a corrupt soul that stands in this very garden. I bring justice to you, Bishop. Oh, child, I do not know to whom you owe your confused simple state. 
I am but a man of the heavens, nothing more. You are not but a man of war, using the heavens to bring death to those that dare speak against you. Is that so? Is that what I am? Then perhaps you would like a demonstration. Ardiri Ardin for us. You there! I take it that you are Rook, the hero that has cheated death. The one and only. Who may you be? And what misguided thoughts stirred you to disturb my time of prayer? Thoughts of death, that which you have delayed for so long. Delayed? No. Death is not becoming of me. In fact, I intend to avoid it altogether. I would not be so certain, for a bell rings through these hollowed chambers. What of it? It tolls for thee. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you ready? Ready? But... did I not do as you requested? You brought me Rook, the one who had avoided his fate for so long. That much is true. Is it not also true that you successfully brought retribution to those who forced you to do evil? Well... yes, but... Hush. You have cleansed the world of evil just as you committed it. I suspect that if there's judgment that lies beyond the veil, you need not fear it any longer. This was forever meant to be your end, so come with me to the void and be free from good and evil. Be free from joy and fear. Be free from flesh and bone. 